I'm Daniel Mashao, born and raised in Etridgeville, west of Pretoria. And I've done my high school there. Later on, went to study at uh, South African University. And finally, I did my PhD at uh, Brown University in the States in artificial intelligence. Uh, I've come back to South Africa since 1997. And uh, last year, from 2018, I joined the University of Johannesburg as executive dean of the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment. Uh, what I do as a Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and the Build Environment, my job is to give strategic direction on where the faculty is going. We are um, a university that wants to lead and wants to understand the fourth industrial revolution. So the Faculty of Engineering and the Build Environment is a key player in that dream, in that formulation of a vision of where our country will be going. So my role right now is to manage the faculty's operations, but also to ensure that we do lead in this space. What is the fourth industrial revolution? Now, I had the privilege of speaking at very various uh, conferences uh, on the issue of what is the fourth industrial revolution. The fourth industrial revolution looks like fashion now, uh, and fashion is something that starts and ends. But if you were to ask really what is the fourth industrial revolution, it's more like the wormhole. Some of us who are fans of Star Trek would know what a wormhole is. A wormhole is a place where you get in. Once you get in, it transforms you. Things change. So what is the fourth industrial revolution? The fourth industrial revolution is like the wormhole. Once we engage with it, we will become different. Now, the basic definition would be that the fourth industrial revolution is a fusion of technologies that produces innovative business models, that produces new innovative values. So it's three things, fusion of technologies, new business models, and new values. Now, the technologies that we have Currently, most people, when they think about technology, they think about digital technology. But there are other technologies. There, is, there are biological technologies, there are physical de technologies, there are emotional technologies, there are social technologies. In the fourth industrial revolution, these technologies come together and they produce amazing things. Now, those amazing things are things like uh, having a company that is able to produce things without having the resources. When you look at companies such as Uber, you see that kind of a company. A company that offers the largest taxi business, but it doesn't own a taxi. And again, it's because of the fourth industrial revolution. Because what has happened is that Uber has been able to maximize and use resources that are created in the cyberspace. Uh, technology such as uh, blockchain, which is digital trust. So. When you are looking at the fourth industrial revolution, you are looking at a fusion of technologies, you are looking at innovative business models. I just gave an example of Uber, but there are many others. There's Airbnb, there's DJ.com, and so on and so forth. Uh, Google itself, it's a, it's a technology that offers you content without actually creating it itself. So these things, when they come together, they create what we call the fourth industrial revolution. Part of our goal as uh, the University of Johannesburg and as the Faculty of Engineering and the Build Environment is to, de is to develop um, what we call finest engineers and technologists. Because University of Johannesburg is a comprehensive university. That means we train engineering scientists and we also train engineering technologists. So our vision is to develop these finest uh, engineers and technologists who will lead in the space of the fourth industrial revolution. And what we mean by leading in the space of the fourth industrial revolution, uh, in the world we have had many industrial revolutions. But this revolution, it's important because it will 
be like the revolution of fire. When fire came in, fire was a, a, a changing thing, but fire could burn you and fire could cook for you. So the fourth industrial revolution in this country can burn us or it can cook for us. It can cook for us as a country. We are struggling with unemployment. We are struggling with poverty. We are struggling with inequalities. Now, we can use the fourth industrial revolution to actually remedy some of these challenges that we have. How do we conscientize our students and how do we teach them uh, Industry 4.0? Well, there is a lot of things that are happening in our, in our program. We, we are increasingly now teaching using, using virtual reality and augmented reality. In other words, um, when you were at high school, you have to maybe dissect a, a, a frog to be able to see what is inside. Well, you'll be able to do that using virtual reality without actually dissecting a real frog, but be able to interact with it and see how it, how it behaves. Now, that's part of uh, what we are introducing in our courses. We also have courses that are introducing uh, e-learning, uh, virtual learning, online learning, and uh, in addition to that, we, we are also as a university uh, seeking to lead in artificial intelligence because we want to use artificial intelligence as a solution to solve many problems that we have. Uh, you, you might know about Google self-driving cars. Now at UJ we are looking at those kind of technologies that allows the machine to the robots to be able to make decisions by themselves. Students at UJ are exposed to that. They will be exposed to some of the top professors in the world who are here to teach our students uh, as part of our collaborations with universities in China and in the USA. Part of the, 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 the goal for the University of Johannesburg is to be a global university of choice anchored in Africa and dynamically shaping the future. Now, what we mean by that is that as a university, we want to be globally competitive. We want to be globally a player in the world, not only uh, to be able to do it uh, at home, but not be counted internationally. And part of the measures of arriving there is research outputs. We ensure that we develop, we, we produce uh, research outputs. We, for example, uh, at the university, we are producing about 25% of, this, of the conference papers and the journal papers that the university produces are produced from this uh, faculty. Well, we are planning in the short space to, to create some new facilities. For example, at UJ, we are going to have the first, the only African ALD, Atomic Layer Deposition Center. And what that means is that we are going to be able to create materials at an atomic level, not uh, at a big level, but at an atomic level. Uh, why would you do that? Well, when you do that, you find very interesting materials that you can build. You can build the strongest materials that are thinner than uh, a needle. You can build um, materials that we can use to clean water so that we can use, uh, we can recycle water and so on and so forth. But the university is looking forward to a great uh, time and all our research that we are able to do is because of our students who come here, who study, and who together with us seek to move the boundaries of knowledge. What is known today, there is a lot more to be known, but together with students who are hardworking, we are able to achieve that.